this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Windows control library to the free version of Visual Studio. If you have a professional or paid version of Visual Studio, this won't be necessary. The very first thing is to start Visual Studio. In my case, I have Visual Studio Express 2015, but you could have earlier versions. We're going to go to New Project. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is make sure we've selected the Windows Form Applications. And then we're going to change the name to My Library. And okay, now we'll go ahead and the first thing that's going to come up is you'll see the blank uh, application with a form. Let's go up to Project and add User Control. Hit Add. Now let's close the form and then go over to the Solutions Explorer and delete that form. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is go to Project My Library Properties. And then we're going to set this to a class library under Output Type. And also, if you notice, the target framework here is 4.5, which is fine. But because of the projects that we're going to be doing are orchestra-related, relate, and some of the earlier versions of orchestra do not support anything greater than Net Framework 3.5, I'm going to change this to Net Framework 3.5. Now, when I do that, I'm going to have to clean up a few things. So we'll go over to the references back in the Solution Explorer, and we'll see we have some warnings now on some of the references because they're not valid in 3.5 so we'll get rid of them and we'll just remove them now the default in this version of Visual Studio also in uh, will generate some references to threading so we'll have a couple more cleanups we have to do and do that in a moment but now the very next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and build this solution and check for errors notice we do have a couple of errors check those you'll notice okay we have see where it says system threading tasks is it errored out we don't so that's not supported in 3.5 get rid of that and we'll build the solution again and there's another reference here in the class same thing we'll just delete that out and then we'll build the solution Okay, we still have now we have another error and now what we're finding is it can't find the form because we deleted the form in a previous uh, step so we'll get rid of that we won't need that in this class and now it should build and it did it was successful so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look where this thing was created which it's going to be in Visual Studio 2015 projects my library and let's drill into the debug folder and there it is the my library DLL which we just created the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to do export template and it's a project template next okay now once we get the export template wizard up we will type Windows control library and under here, this will be Windows Control Library Template. Then we can click Finish. And now you see we've created a Windows Control Library zip in the My Exported folder. And now the next time we open it, it should be available for us. So let's close. And then we'll reopen the Express, go to New Project. And there it is at the bottom, Windows Control Library. And that will be used in our next step. This concludes how to build a Windows Control Library for a free version of Visual Studio Express.